the advantage of observing uh, the solar activities and its effect on space in real time, something that India has been um, wanting to do since a long time, something that has involved a lot of effort on the parts of scientists. And well, moving now to the latest as far as the Chandrayaan-3 mission is concerned, on August 27th, as per ISRO, the rover, Pragyan rover, came across a 4-meter diameter crater positioned 3 meters ahead of its location. And the rover was commanded to retrace the path that is currently right on track and is safe. Uh, Pallav Bagla is now joining us uh, live on the broadcast. Uh, Mr. Bagla, uh, all these, all the information, the scientific data, as well as these images that we've just received as far as, uh, you know, the Chandrayaan-3 mission is concerned, this is very new for the world because, of course, India is the first country to uh, land on the south pole of the lunar surface. But this particular three, you know, four-meter diameter crater, uh, this was, in a sense, the first obstacle that uh, the Pragyan rover encountered. And now it's positioned right on track. Uh, it's safe currently is what the ISRO is saying. That means see, everybody knows that the lunar surface is pockmarked with small and very large craters, and uh, there are also boulders in the regolith. So this is not a surprise that they encountered a crater. Uh, India's Pragyan rover is like a small toy car. It weighs 26 kilograms. It has six powered wheels, so it can do some things, but not everything. And ISRO is tasking it to do different objectives on the lunar surface as the 14-day mission continues. And if a Pratyan rover encountered a crater it could not have either gone down into or come out of it, right. then the obvious thing was to retrace the path and come back. So it only shows that the Pragyan rover is healthy, doing its job, what it's required to do. It also shows that scientists at Mission Control in uh, Bangalore are alert that if they encounter an obstacle, they are bringing the rover back to do a, a recce another area. So this part of normal activity, but essentially the science effort on the rover has begun. And this will continue for the full 14-day period after which the rover and the Vikram lander would be put to sleep. So... So far, so good. So far, so good. Thanks so much, Mr. Bagla, for joining us with all those details. And I was also referring to the thermal profile of uh, the top soil of the moon, uh, the, the first scientific data that uh, Chandrayaan-3, in a sense, uh, sent uh, back home. Thanks so much, Mr. Bagla, for joining us with those details. But moving now to our other big focus. Well, uh, in Haryana's new, the government and the administration is on high alert. There's heavy security deployment on the ground as well. Uh, there you can see how borders of NU were also sealed. This I made a call for the Shobha Yatra in Nu, the same Yatra that triggered communal violence last month. And this time, the Haryana administration was extra cautious. Schools, colleges, banks were shut. Internet was also suspended to make sure there's no misinformation doing the rounds. And the latest that we're getting is also that uh, now uh, the police escorted a few VHP leaders, including the head of the VHP, to a new temple where the Jal Abhishek was held. Earlier, these temples were also sealed, making them out of bounds for people. So the Haryana government being extra cautious when it comes to the new yatra this time. थोड़ा तो राहत की सांस ले रही होंगी आज इतना बड़ा कॉल था फोर्स के साथ सुबह से आप दौरे पे थी थोड़ा एक साइड ऑफ रिलीफ हाँ मैं मैं काफी ये कह सकती हूँ कि मैं ही नहीं मेरी पूरी फोर्स और जो हमारे उच्च अधिकारी हैं जिनके दिशा निर्देश पर आज सारी व्यवस्था हमने यहाँ की की है हम सबको इस बात की खुशी और तसल्ली है कि आज का दिन बहुत शुभ शांति के साथ निपट गया किसी भी अपनी घटना के बिना कुछ विश्व हिंदू परिषद के प्रमुख आलोक कुमार आए थे उनको आपने जलाभिषेक करवा के भेज दिया सकुशल वापस चले गए कोई हल्ला हंगामा कोई कॉन्फ्रेंटेशन तो नहीं हुआ नहीं किसी भी तरह का नहीं जलाभिषेक की तो हमने कहा था जलाभिषेक के लिए तो किसी को बनाई नहीं है जलाभिषेक आए करें तो वो आए थे उन्होंने किया उनके साथ कुछ साधु संत थे बड़े अच्छे तरीके से जो भी और वही क्यों हमारे करीब साढ़े छः सौ सात सौ लोग जो स्थानीय भी हैं सब ने आज जलाभिषेक किया है भंडारे का प्रसाद लिया है तो पूरा दिन जो है बड़ा अच्छे से और शांतिपूर्वक ढंग से सारा निपट किया है यात्रा जो है वो मेन हमारा था कि यात्रा ना निकले और यात्रा नहीं निकली है तो वो हमें लगता है कि हमारी जो अपनी व्यवस्था थी जिस मकसद के साथ हमारा वो अच्छे से पूरा हो गया आसपास के कई इलाकों में कुछ लोगों को आपने प्रिवेंटिव 
डिटेन किया था उनको आपने छोड़ दिया क्या वो आना चाह रहे थे मोबिलाइज कर रहे थे भीड़ क्या मोटिव थे उन लोगों के देखिए आसपास के कुछ जिलों में प्रिवेंटिव डिटेंशन किया गया है क्योंकि सोशल मीडिया पोस्ट के अकॉर्डिंग जो है जो मॉनिटरिंग थी उसके अकॉर्डिंग ऐसा लगा था कि जैसे कुछ ग्रुप मोबिलाइजेशन हो रहा है और वो ग्रुप मोबिलाइजेशन में जिस तरह की बातें आ रही थी मीडिया पोस्ट के ऊपर तो हमें लगा कि बाहर का ग्रुप मोबिलाइजेशन यहाँ की जो हमारी एक कानून व्यवस्था है और यहाँ का जो एक जो एक शांतिप्रिय जो माहौल बना हुआ है उसमें शायद कुछ अड़चन डाल सकता है इसलिए उनको हमने वहाँ पर रोका गया और क्योंकि अब ये परिस्थिति सब है दिन भी ढल गया सब कुछ ठीक हो गया तो जो प्रिवेंटिव डिटेंशन में उनको रिलीज कर दिया जाए माहौल बेहतर हुआ एक महीने में आज तो बिल्कुल बाजार बंद थे सेक्शन 144 फोर्टी फोर इज देर बट हाउ डू एस एज अचुएशन अमंग पीपल फ्रॉम बोथ द कम्युनिटीज देखिए दोनों ही कम्युनिटी ने पिछली जो वार्ता जो घटना हुई थी इकतीस जुलाई की उसके तुरंत बाद ही घटना तो उसी दिन काबू में आ गई थी और अगले ही दिन से दोनों ही समुदाय के लोगों ने अपने अपने जो पीस कमेटी के माध्यम से माहौल को बहुत ही जल्दी नॉर्मल करने की सारी कवायद शुरू कर दी थी और अगले ही कुछ दिनों में काफ़ी हद तक सिचुएशन नॉर्मल आ गई थी कर्फ्यू भी हमारा हट ही गया था और सारा की सारा लाइफ जो है नॉर्मल पटरी पर आ ही गई थी आज क्योंकि तरह तरह के सोशल मीडिया में जो बातें चल रही थी उसको देखते हुए और एक आखिरी सावन का सोमवार है तो धार्मिक स्थानीय लोगों की आस्था भी है जलाभिषेक की तो उन सारी चीज़ों को परिस्थितियों को देखते हुए और जी ट्वेंटी जो हमारे आने वाली है उसको भी नज़र रखते हुए एक एहतियात के तौर पर आज हमने जो है आज और कल दो दिन से एक सौ धारा एक सौ चौवालीस इंटरनेट बंद किया था अदरवाइज जो है ये आज का दिन शांतिपूर्वक क्योंकि चला गया है तो मैं ये कह सकती हूँ कि जनजीवन वापस कल से ही आपको बिल्कुल पटरी पर नजर आएगा शांति सुरक्षा कुछ भी बनाना हो ये राज्य की जिम्मेदारी और राज्य को हर उचित कदम उठाने चाहिए उसके लिए चाहे इंटरनेट बंद करना हो या वहाँ पुलिस फोर्स लगानी हो शांति बहाल करने के लिए जितना सरकार का सहयोग उतना समाज का भी होना चाहिए तो मेरा समाज के सभी वर्गों से अनुरोध है शांति बनाए रखें भाईचारा बनाए रखें so well the situation uh, on the ground and no completely peaceful but let's get you the latest in the muzaffarnagar case where a teacher egged on students to slap a fellow muslim student and after that an fir was also registered against uh, the teacher but she's not been called in for questioning yet meanwhile the up police have registered an fir against journalist and fact checker mohammad zubair over the case and well what's the reason behind it the up police say that the case has been registered against the old news co founder for allegedly revealing the the identity of the child but here's a catch he shared the same video that went viral on social media a video that was shared uh, by thousands of people on twitter facebook and across social media platforms and this was a time when the ncpcr the child rights body had not issued a directive to not use the video but uh, the up police have registered a case against mohammad zubair and meanwhile the muzaffar nagar uh, teacher Uh, who was the center of controversy of instigating children to beat their muslim classmate has now provided a clarification stating that her intention was to make the students remember to do their work as they hadn't uh, as a particular muslim student had not completed his homework this is what uh, the teacher's clarification was however uh, she also denies any communal angle but whether there was a communal angle or not what she did was a, a crime because uh, it counts under corporal punishment which is illegal in india so the teacher they are completely unrepentant mai haath jod kar apni baat clear karna chahti hu ki us din jo hai bacche kaam nahi karke laaye the to bas mera to yahi maqsad tha ki ye bacche jo hai yaad karne lage aur mai waise bhi vikhlaunga aur mere se utha nahi ja raha tha us din तो मैंने दो दो चार बच्चों से कह दिया कि तुम ही इसको एक दो लगा दो ये जो है अपना करने लगेगा काम बस मेरा तो यही मकसद था और मैं ये नहीं चाहती कि ये और इन्होंने जो है ये वीडियो काट काट के और अलग से बना के हिंदू मुस्लिम कराने के लिए इन्होंने जो है ये वायरल कर दी जबकि मेरा तो कोई आशय नहीं था और मैं तो हाथ जोड़ के अब भी ये ये कह रही हूँ कि मेरे से गलती हो मैं जो हूँ बहुत सारे बच्चों को जो मुंडन बच्चे हैं जिनके बस की फीस देनी नहीं है तो वो आते हैं तो मैं उनको फ्री पढ़ाती हूँ कोई ऐसा मकसद नहीं था कि मैं मुंडन बच्चों को अलग से पड़ताड़ना दूँ या कोई अलग से वो करूँ 
ये तो बनाया गया है सारा सब लोग उनकी बनाई हुई करी तरी इन सब की है लेकिन मैं तो आज जोड़ के अब भी ये कहती हूँ कि मेरा कोई ऐसा मकसद नहीं था और आज तक मैं इतने दिन से बना रही हूँ कोई मेरा मकसद नहीं था ऐसा So well beyond the communal angle an act of sheer cruelty there in Muzaffarnagar but moving now to our other big focus a rising student suicides in Kota and yesterday there were two student suicides in just 24 hours after which there was a no test order for coaching centers as well now the local administration uh, seems to have swung into action it is called uh, for an emergency meeting in fact the emergency meeting has happened of all stakeholders in uh, as far as uh, in the Kota coaching hub is concerned it had hostel owners uh, representatives of coaching centers and all also the local administration present there in fact a state level committee has also been formed uh, by the government and that will reach kota and it will investigate various angles including the chairmanship of uh, the principal secretary higher education there in kota other than that it will also reach out to students there and now there seems to be a change and overhaul of the way these coaching centers operate given the fact that there will be a change in timing as well there will be entertainment sessions for uh, the students there in kota to make sure there's some recreation for them as their mental health has now come to uh, you know ha has become the big, big focus given the fact that there has been over 20 suicides this year and there's been a 60% rise in student suicides in kota post covid Well, yes, uh, the collector, in fact, has called an emergency meeting. He is um, asked for, you know, the SP was also there at the meeting, and we heard the SP say that they're going to try and have a separate police station for students. Firstly, uh, secondly, all hostel owners, uh, people who run PGs, have been called there. Uh, even, um, you know, uh, the the coaching institutes have been given instructions, which we'd already reported earlier, that there will be no tests for two months, and also the time of teaching is going to be reduced. so you will have to do only half the session in the day and after that they're going to have a entertainment class a manoranjan class which they call which is going to help them to relax the you know the students in um, in certain uh, ways what exactly that ca class will be we don't know but you know i must say that i was talking to a a psychologist just earlier this morning because we've been uh, you know was filing stories and reports on this and he said something very interesting dr bharat shekhawat he is the uh, additional principal at the kota medical college the head of the psychiatry department and he said you know for years for 20 years we've been saying that these things need to be done the other big problem that he pointed out is that students go to kota when they are 15 16 17 years old so what the coaching institute suggests to the parents is that you take a child out of school you put him into a dummy school so he does his cbsc or his 10th or uh, you know 12th from that dummy school but actually what he does is he attends coaching the coaching now what does that do to the child it takes the child away from the school environment where there are friends where there are games there's co curricular activities and it puts this very young child immature unable to handle the pressure into a very rigorous system which is just designed to push you towards achievement and success now obviously what happens to that child is Uh, you know he is isolated he doesn't have friends uh, the numbers are very large he can't play games there are no co curricular activities all he does is study 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 for an entrance exam and that starts creating a pressure uh, on his mind so you know the doctor suggested something which i found very interesting he said there should be a minimum age for coaching children should first finish school and only then give the coaching entrance exams this should not be giving entrance exams or pre prepping for coaching at 15 16 17 years old so i thought that was a really interesting thing and like you said you know these all these measures cannot be put in place just by the district administration uh, you know even say med schools which are taking children they should also give a gap year that children actually appear for the exam when they are a certain age so that if you work backwards they only start coaching once they finish school so you can't take a child out of school and put him into the rigors of coaching and expect him to cope well the committee is supposed to uh, talk to all stakeholders coaching institutes uh, you know people who have hostels even the district administration and come up with some kind of a plan so the chief minister has not uh, really given them a uh, uh, you know uh, some kind of an agenda the main agenda is to take the stress off students so that the suicides don't happen that's the main agenda now the committee is going to go to kota in the next two days so it's going to reach there um, in kota and going to talk to all stakeholders in the meantime the chief minister had a vc and you know uh, it's very uh, unfortunate that you know the coaching institutes in that video conference which the chief minister took said that you know student suicides are happening everywhere but ours are getting reported but that's not true i mean the numbers clearly we have those graphics on air the number of student suicides is much higher in kota 
than it is anywhere else. Even Jaipur has coaching institutes, but you do not hear of this kind of extreme steps taken by students. So obviously there's some kind of a pressure cooker kind of uh, system being created in Kota, uh, which needs to be looked at very, very closely. So, well, a welcome step by the local administration, but is it too little, too late, is a big question. Moving now to a horrific uh, incident emerging from Madhya Pradesh. A man from the scheduled caste community was allegedly beaten to death by a mob over a sexual harassment case filed by his sister back in 2019 in the Sagar district of the state as per the police. His sister was also beaten and his mother was stripped naked when she tried to save her daughter from the attackers as per the police. Eight people have now been arrested in the case. And a case has also been registered under the SCXT Act. And this has, of course, triggered a political row in election-bound uh, Madhya Pradesh. Of course, uh, the Bahujan Samaj Party and the Congress have slammed the ruling party. Uh, the BJP says that swift action was taken. But the big question is, uh, what is really the state of the marginalized in Madhya Pradesh? Because this comes close on the heels of the incident where a tribal man was urinated on in Madhya Pradesh's city. <laughs> हम लाडू सब्जी ले लेगा सब्जी ले लेगा तो हमने पीछे से गए तो जे सब मार रहे थे इस फिर हमने खूब बचाव नहीं बच पाए हमें मार बहुत हमें भी पड़ता पड़ता तो मोबाइल छोड़ा रहा लाडू को टच बोल कीप इट अंजना को टच मोबाइल है तो विष्णु को टच मोबाइल है तो संजय नहीं लाए कि दो ही मोबाइल तो हमारी लड़की को भी मारा हमें भी मारा what an absolutely unspeakable predicament for the family of the victim.